All right, good morning, afternoon, whichever one of my classes you're in. So today we're going to start on displacements. And um, a, a displacement is a way for us to make terrain on the map. So organic hills, valleys, rivers, lakes. Um, so we're not just using flat blocks for the ground or, or cliff sides or mountains or things like that. So um, these, you can create bugs that can crash the game with these. So what I'm going to recommend is that you open up a brand new map for this. I'd rather you not do this on whatever map, your house map or anything like that. Just click file, new, and just create a brand new map. All right. So once you create a new map, you're going to have this just nice empty world here. Uh, make sure you go to camera. 3D shaded textured polygons here, so we'll get a nice textured view. We're going to start with a basic block or a brush like we have before. So I'm going to take my block tool, and then in your uh, top view here, go ahead and zoom all the way out so you can see you know, pretty much the entire grid. And we're just going to make a block here in the center. And it's, you know, you can use this size. It's fine. It's, it's about 9,000 by 9,000. You know, it doesn't really matter for this first one. Um, the thickness wise, you know, make it kind of thin because it actually is going to delete everything except the top. So we might as well just work with a thin block. And then press enter to create it. All right. So we end up with something that looks like this. Just a great big, you know, 9,000, 10,000 block, just flat fairly thin nothing special all right now let's uh, do a couple menu settings here to make this process a little bit easier so let's click on tools go to options and then go to 3d view all right so I'm gonna go tools options 3d view and we're going to go ahead and slide these top three all the way over. So what this does is the back clipping plane is how far can I see into the distance. Uh, the model render distance, if you've noticed some of your models turn into like yellow and purple boxes when you fly away from them, that's the model render distance. So we'll go ahead and set that to the maximum. Um, and then detail render distance, you can set that to maximum as well. So this will give us the maximum view. We'll be able to see as far as possible. And then also, it'll allow us to see our models at a further distance. If you go down just a little bit, there's a forward speed. This is, uh, we would call it float speed in other engines. But this is how fast you fly when you're in uh, you know, Z mode here. So you can kind of play around with that. I'm just going to set it to like 4,000 or so. It's fine. Click OK. And what you should see is that you get a, a, a larger render distance. So see how that back corner starts to clip when I fly away? That's the render distance. And so I've got it to the maximum. This is as good as I can do it. But, um, but it, it's like 10,000. So this block is 9,000. So that gives you an idea about how far I'm seeing. All right, so I've got this block, this brush. So I'm going to go to my texture tool. And then I want to select just the top of this box. So this is important. So when you go through here, see how it's, it's pink on all sides? So I'm going to click on the top so that it's only the top selected. So see how the bottom and the sides are not selected? So you want to select only the top. All right, so I'm going to do that again. So I've got this block. I go to my texture tool. And then you're going to select the top only just by left clicking on the top. And you can tell that you did it because the sides and bottom are deselected. This step is extremely critical. So don't skip it. It's not optional. It's very critical to making a proper displacement. All right. So one more time. I've got this block selected. I'm going to go to my texture tool. Click on the top only. Okay deselects all the other ones. Once you do that, 
on your face edit sheet this is the texture tool texture tool menu we're gonna click on displacement and you see a button here that says create we're gonna click create displacement create power it's an option of I think it's 0 to 4 1 to 4 um, but 4 is the highest so that gives us the greatest level of detail in making the terrain or shaping or sculpting the terrain so we're gonna go ahead and set it to 4 click OK and you should see this kind of a, a mesh that appears over the landscape alright simple enough alright now from this same menu I'm still on my displacement tab you see there's a button here that says paint geometry so I'm gonna click on that and we've got a few settings here so we'll look at the bottom here first so radius if you see this little green thing the radius is the area of effect of my my landscape displacement shaping tool so this is the area that's going to get affected by my tool for raising or lowering the ground the distance is how far or how drastic the lift or the lower is going to be so just leave it at five for now um, the radius I don't know let's let's put it around 600 so and it doesn't have to be exactly 600 just dial it in close to 600 all right <clears throat> up here we've got raise lower raise two and smooth so normally you're going to use raise lower that's the one that either it raises or lowers the terrain um, the raise two will bring up terrain around an area to the same level and then smooth will do just what it says it smooths out any hills or valleys you've created so most of the time you're gonna use just raise and lower so I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way here and then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go ahead and maximize this window alright so first off the raise and lower tool does not work when you're flying around so you know how you press Z to fly around so when you're flying around the raise and lower tool does not work so like right now I'm clicking raise and lower and nothing's happening okay but when I press Z so now I'm not flying right now if I left click it raises the train and if I right click it pushes the train down so I can fly around find a new position but I always have to get out of fly mode so I'm gonna press Z then I'll start sculpting my terrain work on some mountains here okay left click right click right is down left is up alright so I'm flying around flying around so what I would like you to do for this first one, your first displacement map, is I would like you to create a sort of mountain range around the perimeter or the outside edge of this map, like I'm doing here, kind of multiple mountain ranges that kind of overlap each other. So I've got kind of hills, so almost like concentric rings of mountains. And then in the center, I want you to lower it, okay? so I want you to raise the edges all the way around and I want you to lower the center and the screenshot that I want for this is going to be one of your side views zoomed out that shows me this view right here where I can see that you've created a depression in the center and mountains around the edges so I would like you to make me for this first map kind of a little valley okay and it doesn't have to be you know oval I don't have a particular shape in mind but I just want to see a depression in the middle and I want to see mountains and hills all the way around the edges and you can kind of see them growing there in my two-dimensional views so I want a nice set of mountain ranges around the perimeter here and try to keep it nice and organic now this is going to be kind of a low res I haven't shown you how to increase the um, resolution of this yet 
So we're, tomorrow's lesson is going to show you how to make a much smoother hill. So today is just learning how to get into the tool, how to create a displacement, how to raise and lower. Tomorrow I'm going to show you how to make a really nice um, high resolution and by resolution I mean the, the triangles we're working with will be a lot smaller so we can make really nice gentle smooth curves because right now this is this is a pretty low poly mountains when you look at these they're pretty jagged triangles um, sticking up but for today's lesson that's fine tomorrow we're gonna go through the process of creating really nice smooth terrain but for today I just want to see that you're able to raise and lower the terrain and create this little kind of mountain range around the edge and valley in the middle. Now, what I don't want you to do is like just create like giant pyramids like I'm doing right here, okay? So I don't want you to just create these giant pyramids by picking a spot and and, and holding down your tool and just clicking it over and over and over and over again. So keep the tool moving. You're doing, you know, kind of nice, think organic, you know, almost like a brush stroke, like we're, we're sculpting the terrain is what we're actually doing. So I want you to use, just kind of, you know, move this thing around organically, you know, kind of set up hills in the front, some mountains in the back. But what I want to see is a nice range around. I want to see a nice little mountain range around the outside with a depression in the center. All right, so that is your assignment for today. Kind of a low poly uh, displacement map, any texture on it, I don't care. Screenshot that and upload that for me today.